All right, so here's a short video on how to create your booklets. It's really simple. You don't really even need this video, but because um, it's kind of step by step. All right, first thing is the booklets are at a site called advisorbooklets.com. Just go there and then it'll automatically bring you to the login page. And then you log in and you use your email address, not your username from your senior leads account, your email address and your password from your senior leads account. Okay, and then Click login and it automatically takes you to the setup page and this is where you set up your booklets now very good idea these videos are really really short they're like two minutes each how to create your booklets how to resize your book e booklet your e photo you know how to print all these kinds of different things how to use special symbols like if you need the trademark or down here you see next to CPA he has to use the registered uh, sign uh, so how to use those special symbols uh, how to know which booklet to send if you want to print your booklets not 11 by eight and a half but rather in booklet format eight and a half by 11 this little video uh, and then here's a, a whole bunch of other ways to use your booklets on the internet to uh, generate uh, some prospects uh, beyond the senior lead system so certainly read this and how to do that okay so now making the booklets is really pretty darn simple after you watch those videos you'll be an expert but you just come down here and you start you know, first name, last name, any credentials you have, your company name, city, stout, zip, you know, the whole thing. Um, it automatically pulls in the email address you've used in your senior leads account. If you want to print a different one on your booklets, just enter it in here. So, for, for example, sometimes people on their uh, senior leads account might have like a Yahoo or a Gmail account, but in your booklets, you want to print you know if you're say with New York life you want to have your New York life address that's fine so you can just change that here and that is the one that will print on your booklets uh, if your broker dealer has any disclosure needed just read these instructions and then type the disclosure in here uh, here's a space a lot of states I shouldn't say a lot some require your insurance license number to be on uh, anything printed so just enter it in here uh, and then when it comes to uploading your photo so if you've never done this before, it's very simple. You take a really good photo, an actual photo. And by the way, don't skimp on this. Um, let me show you right here. Is it this is what a good photo looks like. So don't skimp on this. Go to a professional photographer. Notice these nice backgrounds and it's shaded. This is what a good photo looks like. So men, jackets, you know, and tie, women, nice blouse, hair done. You know, just make sure it might cost you 120 bucks. Well worth it well worth it it makes a much better impression than you know some some picture from the golf course or your uh, passport photo that looks like you just uh, you know met some roadkill so please get a good photo uh, and use it and by the way quick tip one of the places you can use it all the time on your letterhead down by where your signature is always put your photo it's great for people to see what you look like particularly you know if you are sending something out to a prospect or it's even when you send things to clients they just you know if they haven't seen you in a while it's like oh yeah you know my my advisor my agent they are a good-looking guy or good-looking gal okay so that's why you want to use a professional photo um, click here read the essential photo instructions now the way you get a photo to digitize it you take a real photo you take it down to a place like kinko's or any copy shop and you tell them you need it digitized they'll say well, what uh, how exactly right here click here for essential photo instructions if you're going to digitize it yourself you can do it as long as you have a scanner just read these instructions or take these instructions down to uh, kinko's either way and follow them because if you don't follow the instructions you're gonna have a tough time getting the photo to upload uh, by the way the photo would be that size uh, you can actually see let's see that's what it that's the correct size of the photo um, so it's 160 pixels by 140 pixels once you um, watch this video up here about how to resize your ebooklet photo and you watch that you'll know what a pixel is and, and you, you'll be in great shape okay um, let's see okay so oh by the way now should you so once you have your photo digitized right what's going to happen is that Kinko's or whoever when you scan it you'll have a digital uh, file on your you'll put it on your hard drive and so once you have it on your hard drive you just go you know choose file and you know and you pick your uh, so maybe that's your photo 
and you say open and so notice the files there and I say upload and bingo that's not the photo I want but that, that, <laughs> there there you go okay so that's how as easy as it is now when you do that when you click upload it gives gives you any error message or stuff it's because you either didn't follow these instructions or the photo's not the right size and you want to watch this video how to resize your e-booklet photo pretty simple once just follow the instructions don't be intimidated if you've never done this before next write a little biography about yourself there's a particular format uh, that we found uh, really good so if you click here sample biographies read some of those samples and then pattern your own biography um, uh, uh, with those samples so you know so follow the same kind of formula okay then some other information that goes in your booklets is about your company so if you want a paragraph about that type that in here um, you don't have to but it's it'll go in your booklet if you do and whoops okay uh, another thing is you can uh, also have there's a place in your booklet where you can list your services so if you want fill these in read these instructions on how to do it but like estate planning or wealth management financial planning insurance services so you can list your different services if you want and you don't have to use these all up but they'll be printed in your booklet um, so it's kind of a nice nice feature all right let me see uh, apologize let me see uh, screen you can't see this part let me just okay so the very last thing that's cut off at the bottom is there's a checkbox it says check to confirm submission and then um, and then uh, uh, submit so I'm gonna pause this for a minute come right back so here down the bottom is where you see there's a little checkbox it'll say check to confirm submission save changes so um, I'm actually not going to do that because I, I, I changed I change my photo and I don't want to <laughs> save it to that goofy guy. But if you did, it would just save it. And the next thing that would happen, the software would automatically take you to the next page that says publish. So you'd wind up on this page and you can read those instructions. And then your booklets are here. So, you, you, you know, you might say, wait a minute, I only signed up for the uh, annuity prospects and retirees and financial analysis. I, I, how come all these booklets are here? You can use these anyway, if you like, in other parts of your business um, because they've all been personalized for you now. So if you pick any one of them, um, six strategies to help with diet, I'll do this as a, as a sample. If I click it, now, in your browser, depending on whether you're using Firefox, Chrome, how you got it set up, the picture might open right away or it might download to your hard drive. Mine downloaded to my hard drive. There's a little thing that uh, popped up in my bottom lower corner. So I'm just going to open that up. And there is the PDF. <laughs> it saved it anyway. Okay, so there's the name and the photo. It's easy to change. I'll go back and change it. Um, and there you have your personalization, the first page with your credential. Well, the credentials were on the first page too. And then they're inside your insurance license number. And then here's the content, the text of the booklet. And at the very back, now we have the additional personalization on page 15 here's that biography you wrote with your picture again and then here's the next page about your company so this paragraph would be something about your company or there's room for two or three when you're setting up your booklet and then remember I said there was room where you can you know talk about your different services that's where this is obviously if you don't use slot five and six make sure you erase this from your setup so it doesn't show up like that and then finally there's all your contact information your name your credentials your phone number you know address email address etc and there you go so that's how to prepare your booklets once you've done this now you might want to save this to your hard drive that way you can just print a copy each time you need to use it thanks